Hello and welcome to the TestMonitor 8.1 update video. In today's world of software testing, automation isn't just a trend, it's a standard. That's why version 8.1 introduces powerful features to bring automated testing into your workflow. From JUnit XML to Playwright support, TestMonitor is built to move testing forward. Let's dive in and take a look. Let's start with JUnit XML, one of the most widely adopted formats for automated test results. You can now import JUnit XML files directly, bringing in results from tools like Cucumber, Robot Framework, and JUnit. So how does it work? It's simple. You run your automated tests in your preferred tool, whether that's Cucumber, Robot Framework, or JUnit itself, and export the results as a JUnit XML file. Then just upload that file into Test Monitor. We'll automatically extract the test cases and results and assign them to a test run without any manual effort. For uploading test results, we've introduced the Test Monitor command line interface or Test Monitor CLI. Use it to upload a single JUnit XML file or integrate it into your CI pipeline for automatic uploads. Once you've uploaded your file, Test Monitor takes care of the rest. After just a few moments, you'll see your test results appear, parsed, organized, and linked to your test cases. Each result includes the test status and any failure messages, giving you instant insight into what passed, what failed, and why. It's automation data made readable. With JUnit XML support and the new Test Monitor CLI, bringing your automated test results into Test Monitor has never been easier. Whether you're uploading manually or through your CI pipeline, you get a clear centralized view of all your test activity. But we didn't stop there. For tools like Playwright and Selenium, we've gone even further. With native support that goes beyond just pass or fail. Test Monitor now captures rich artifacts like screenshots and video recordings, giving you deeper insight into what happened during your test runs. Let's take a look. Playwright has quickly become a favorite for end-to-end -end testing, fast, reliable, and built for modern web apps. And with Test Monitor 8.1, we now offer native support for Playwright test results. Getting started is easy. First, activate the Playwright integration in your Test Monitor project settings. Once enabled, you'll find a ready-to-use reporter configuration right there on the Playwright integration page. Just add that reporter to your Playwright config file it only takes a minute. Then run your tests as usual. Test results, including any screenshots and video recordings, are automatically submitted to Test Monitor. No manual uploads, no extra steps. Once your tests have run, jump back into Test Monitor to see the results in action. You'll find each Playwright test neatly listed, complete with pass-fail status, detailed logs, and best of all, attachments like screenshots, screen recordings, and trace files. It's everything you need to understand and debug your tests, all in one place. And since automated and manual tests can run side by side, Test Monitor makes it easy to keep things organized. Just use the built-in filters to quickly view only your manual runs, only your automated runs, or both together for a full picture of your testing progress. So that's Playwright in Test Monitor. Fast, integrated, and rich with context. With native support for attachments and seamless reporting, you get all the power of Playwright's integration with none of the manual overhead. And if you're using Selenium, good news! Test Monitor 8.1 also includes the same native support for Selenium. Using our new TestNG integration, automatic result uploads, detailed reporting, and support for attachments. Just set it up once and let the integration handle the rest. And there's more. Test Monitor 8.1 also introduces a dedicated automation report, giving you a clear overview of all your automated testing activity. Track automated runs frequent failures, and slowest tests, all in one powerful report. 
With Test Monitor 8.1, you're ready for the future of testing. Seamlessly uniting manual and automated efforts into one clear, efficient workflow. We've also added a few quality of life updates in this release. The test results overview now lets you filter by status, like failed or unviewed tests for quicker insights. Our WYSIWYG editor now supports syntax highlighting and code blocks. We've also added a highlight feature, allowing you to mark specific words or sentences. And of course, we've made overall improvements to keep everything running smoothly. For more details on all the new features, check out the blog post linked in the description. If you found this update helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date for future releases. Thanks for watching and happy testing.